Hi everyone, Monica for Heartcraft Paper here. And today I'm gonna to be using a really cute image from Stamper's Delights, and this is called Fifi and Petra. This is a trainer and poodle duo, which is actually pretty cute for a circus themed card. I'm gonna start by coloring in my image. I wanted to give Miss Fifi a feel of this old time clown makeup in which you could see some of that skin kind of popping through, which is why I didn't go too dark on this image. But I did come in with my colorless blender to kind of give that effect of white, so I lightened up the skin very much. I also put in some cheek coloring, and again, I also colored or lessened the color intensity there. So I got it in my mind that this would be a brunette. Um, I love the idea of having all these pinks and browns and just having her having this really dark head of hair. So that's what I pulled in. For this particular image, I wanted to go with blacks and pinks just because it seems somewhat feminine and then on top of that kind of fun with that circus theme. The tent being pink and black, I just felt it kind of went with all that. For the tutu, I felt the need to make it pretty light. So I went with these wonderful translucent light pinks and it just got darker along the edges and along the center of the tutu. You'll find the links to the images and items used here today in the comments below. I'll leave you to enjoy the music as I finish coloring Miss Fifi. Have her. Isn't she gorgeous? All right, here we have Miss Petra. This is the poodle that comes along with the set. Again, with this image, I decided to go with pinks because I had that image of a pink poodle for whatever reason, and I pulled that through onto her fur. I also accented with grays and left it without going so dark into the blacks, but it, I think it came out pretty well. She's just too cute. Time to start crafting, I'm so excited. Here I have some wonderful paper that I received and made into some leaves that you see here. I'm gonna be using that scrap as well later on in the video. I made my sentiment. I did use the quill pen for that in order to get that um, foil effect. A couple of uh, filigree, my circus uh, set here, and as you can see, it's got that glitter paper. It's actually a PVC paper. My tent, my images, and my background. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and bring some color into this so that it kind of peeks out through the back. I'm using picked raspberries for this. Um, and as you can see, my dauber, I actually like these daubers because I can write on them and I know what color I'm actually using. You're gonna see me go back and forth placing the frame over my coloring just so I can make sure I get enough of that color peeking through. I think this should be good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up my background and gluing everything down. I started with my pinstripe section and adhering that to the light pink oval cutout. Once I had that in place, I glued the whole thing down onto my backing. And as you can see, I have some nice color popping through. Using double-sided tape, I adhered this onto my card base. Now I did use one of my old tricks, and what I do is I lift up the edges from opposite corners in order to stick this down. This is a great hack for those of you that like using double-sided tape, it allows you some wiggle room because you're actually able to set your card in place prior to actually adhering it. You'll simply line up your card base and your card front so that you can use the corners that don't have the tape exposed in order to align this. Once you're set, you'll press down on the areas that have the tape exposed and simply pull the tags and you're set to go. On to the embellishments. Here I have what's called crinkle binding in a beautiful pink. I'm also gonna bring in some black tulle. Again, I'm trying to keep my color theme. 
So what I've done here is gather up the end of that tool and tie it off with a bow. I'd say this is about a good three inches and then I'm gonna trim it about a three inches from this knot. Once I have this all trimmed out, I'll go ahead and fold this over in order to create a nice rounded fan shape. Now it's just a matter of where it will go. Using a hot glue gun, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this onto my card in a way that it creates a nice little fan shape. So here I have this beautiful black brushed metal paper and I'm gonna pass this through my corrugator. And which of course I just got, so I definitely have to use for this project. This turned out spectacularly. So I'm gonna take this and measure it along my card to make sure that it fits perfectly. And then I'm gonna create a fishtail banner by cutting down the center and then along the sides, right up to the edge of where I cut that center. And as you can see, I have my glue gun out, so you can obviously tell how I'm gonna adhere this. And the reason why I want to use my glue gun is because of these ridges. We wanna make sure that it gets enough of a hold onto that card base so that it doesn't move around or it doesn't fall loose. Okay, now I'm gonna adhere my image down utilizing foam tape. As you'll probably know, I do have some pink um, crinkle binding at the top, but please ignore that as I ended up coming back and just kind of removing that. So what I wanna do is make sure that my image is centered there in the oval opening. Time to work my circus font. Now for this, as you can see, I do have a PVC glitter paper background, and this is going to support my main font. Utilizing liquid glue, I coated the whole entire back of the font, and then I adhered it onto the glitter um, stock, cardstock, so that way it created kind of an offset, just so that glitter kind of popped through and out behind the font itself. So here I am adding foam tape to the back of my circus piece. Now I did this in order to add some height to that. I wanted to get some dimension off of the black background that I have here. And as I went through initially, I had the pink uh, crinkle binding there. I found that it didn't necessarily work. Number one, it was hidden. Number two, it didn't create quite the flat surface that I wanted in order to adhere my circus font. So I ended up removing it. The best thing about this brushed metal paper was the fact that it was so easy to remove that hot glue. And as you can see, the circus font went down fairly well. I really wanted to make sure I added that crinkle tape somewhere on my card. So I decided to go on the bottom and along the side. Now this gave me a little bit of height to my card as well as some much needed um, element. Using 1 8 inch double-sided tape, I adhered my crinkle binding onto the card. I used a pleating motion for this in order to create that volume and also to keep that crinkle to the binding itself. I wanted to add my filigree to the card before I continued on with the right side and the binding um, tape there. So what I did was I adhered it in sections so that way it would still keep that um, volume and it created more of a bounce and movement to the actual filigree itself. Now I did the same thing with the second piece, only adhering it where it actually touched the card, so that way it also elevated off that crinkle binding. Time to repeat this process all along the right side. our other embellishments, I have two tickets. One that's printed and has some font, and the other one is a plain cutout. Now, utilizing worn lipstick, I decided to add some color all along the edges. This gives it more of a distressed look and also breaks the color a little bit to create some definition between my other elements. With the coloring done, it's time to adhere the two tickets together. 
Now I wanted to create an offset image so that way one is higher than the other one as I glue this down onto my card. Make sure you adhere the two properly or they will fall apart. I also utilized some pearl embellishments in pink, uh, very in pinks actually, so that way it would give it a little bit more pop. As you can probably tell, I'm working all of my embellishments first. I'm now moving on to the circus tent and adhering that black piece onto the pink. Now I did have a little bit of a snafu where I had some pieces kind of breaking off from it initially, but hey, not to worry. Crafter have glue will fix, right? So very simply, I decided to adhere the um, black pieces first. Now I did have that broken off piece set to the side and I'm simply gonna utilize liquid glue to adhere that on. Okay, we're gonna start moving on and gluing down the rest of our items. Utilizing foam tape, I glued Petra onto the left side of Fifi. And next, I'm gonna work my tickets. Because of the way that these are kind of laid out and I wanted that tent to be over it, I decided to glue the tickets to the back of the tent. I'm gonna do so utilizing liquid glue. Now, as you can tell, I do have my hot glue gun out and that is because I wanna make sure that my items are adhered properly onto my card. Being that there is such a variation and uneven service here, we wanna make sure that somehow it gets attached. So as you can see, I'm utilizing my glue gun to do so. Perfect. Now it's time to add in my leaf embellishments. I really love this brush metal paper for this. It added a lot of a sparkle to this craft. So utilizing my glue gun, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this right onto the tent underneath. I will repeat this process with all the other three leaves. Now just be mindful, this might not be the type of card you wanna stick into a very small envelope or a fit envelope. You're gonna want a bigger envelope just because of all the embellishments that are sticking off the sides. Time to figure out where I'm gonna put my happy birthday sentiment. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue gun to adhere this on just because I wanna make sure that it stays. Perfect. Now here's a closer look of what the finished product will look like. I do hope that you give this a try. I would absolutely love to see what you come up with. I absolutely love all the sparkle and shine that came about with all this paper. Hope to see you soon. For more videos and tutorials like these, don't forget to subscribe. Visit the blog for more information at www.hardcraftpaper.com. Thanks for watching Hardcraft Paper.